So what exactly is a relay and how does it work? A relay is basically a switch that is operated by electricity. So here we have a circuit diagram of a relay and there's two circuits. On the left we have the primary circuit, we'll call this circuit number one, and on the right circuit number two. Circuit number two is controlled by circuit number one. So if we push down this switch, this is going to create a closed circuit which will allow current to flow. As current flows through this electromagnet, which is basically a coil of wire around a metal, once this electromagnet is energized, it's going to cause this switch to close. When that switch closes, current will flow, turn it on the light bulb. And that's the basic working principle of a relay. So you're using a small amount of current in circuit one to control another circuit with a larger current in circuit two, the secondary circuit. Now let's talk about how a relay works. Once we close the switch on circuit one, current is going to flow from the battery, which will energize the electromagnet. Whenever you have current flowing through a wire, it's going to create a magnetic field. And if you have a coil of wire, around a metal like iron, it's going to create a magnetic field that will basically travel in and out of that coil. That magnetic field is going to cause the armature to feel a magnetic force that's going to pull it down. That's going to create a torque that is going to basically connect these two metal contacts together activate in circuit two. So once this goes down, connecting these two parts, circuit two is activated, current is going to flow through it, lighting up the light bulb. So that's how a relay works. You use an electromagnet to basically cause a metal to close circuit two, connecting these two contacts together, activating that circuit. Now on the other side, here we have a clockwise torque we're going to get another clockwise torque over here. So what's going to happen as this part goes down, this part goes up. And the spring is going to stretch. Now, the presence of this spring is very important to causing the relay to return to its original state. When you have a spring in its natural length, if you apply an active force to stretch it, it's going to stretch. But as it stretches, there's going to be an equal and opposite force called the restoring force that wants to bring the spring back to its natural length. So that restoring force is right here. So these two forces, they balance out. So right now the spring remains in its stretch position. But if we open the switch to circuit one, that cuts off the current. When the current stops, the magnetic field will collapse and eventually disappear. Once the electromagnet is deactivated, this force disappears, which means this torque disappears as well. Now, initially, these two contacts are probably, well, they are still attached to each other, but that's not going to be there for long. This torque is going to disappear, and this active force will disappear. But this restoring force of the spring will still be there. And so that restoring force is going to create a torque that's going to be in the opposite direction, this time in the counterclockwise direction. And that'll create a new torque here in the counterclockwise direction and that is going to cause the armature to snap back to its original position, severing the connection of these two metal contacts, turning the light bulb off. So that's the basic operation of a relay. You need the electromagnet to close the circuit when energized, and when de-energized, you need the spring to snap it back open. So that's the basic working principle of a relay. Now this particular relay is what you will call a normally open relay.
There's also the normally closed relay, where if you would activate circuit one, it would go from a closed position to an open position. That is circuit two. In addition to that, the relay that we've considered is an SPST relay. This is single pole, single throw. You also have what is known as an SPDT relay. And here's the circuit diagram for this. This is the single pole, double throw relay. So here you have circuit two either on or off, but for the single pole double throw relay, you have, in addition to circuit one, you have two other circuits. One will be off, the other will be on. And you could switch between the two. Next up, we have the double pole single throw relay. And here is the circuit diagram for that. So both of those switches can open and close simultaneously. And the last one is the double pole, double throw relay. So it's basically two let me draw this better. So the double pole double throw relay is two of the single pole double throw relay. You could see it that way. 